You see the drippy, I'm fitted up. Hop in my car and the giddy up. Secure the bag, yeah, I get the bus. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. You see the drippy, I'm fitted up. Hop in my car and the giddy up. Ooh, don't look any further than that. I am gonna put my seatbelt on just in case I do tip. Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Luke. Thank you very much for watching. Do appreciate it. As you can see, we are just about to head into Tidworth. Tidworth. Uh, and we're actually delivering to the same site first thing in this vlog as what we did on my last vlog, last thing. Uh, but there's two days apart, so it might be a little bit different. So I thought that's the whole point of doing this uh, filming on different days sort of style vlog. Uh, you get to see how sites grow. That's what we're going to do. So we're going to quickly tip this one off and then we're going to go to our next job which is something different uh and then i'll see you probably tomorrow or the day after <laughs> but um yeah what we're doing in tidworth at the moment by the looks of it it looks like we're uh helping lay the foundations for a new roundabout is what it looks like it looks like quite a big roundabout as well you can just about make out when we get there you can just about make out like a semicircle. Uh, they've got like sticks poking up around um and we're basically laying the foundation, which is the Type 1 MOT, um, for that. If someone, someone said, what is Type 1 MOT on my last video? And I think it's called different things in different areas. It depends on where you're from. But it's essentially like large rocks, a little bit of like dust and dirt in it as well. And it's used as like a sub-foundation normally um, before things are put on top of it. So eventually tarmac could be laid on top of it and stuff like that but it's normally uses like a base layer i think i've had this conversation with scott andrews and i think i think he said it that he calls it scalpings or something i'm not sure so um yeah it's just it's called different things in different places but anyway anyway we're at the, these red lights now uh right green lights yeah it's a green light it's a green light let's go 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 there's um there's three of us delivering to this site first thing this morning and then we're on our way to something else where there's seven of us there so uh yeah busy day today yeah. we're just gonna go past this go past this compound because it's going to be in this next compound same as before yeah there's two of our guys in there now lip tipping so we're gonna join them in a minute in fact it might be it might be worthwhile me staying outside I'm not sure yet nah, it's, nah I can get in there as long as I get in there before they finish tipping come on out mate I'll wait out here for you Yeah, I'm just going to wait out here. Beacons on. All clear behind, mate. All clear. Right, we're now going to make our way in to the site. one is uh, telling me exactly where to tip it this time but I think I can see where they tipped their load Yeah, those stakes that were in the, uh, the road are now gone, but there there was definitely a stake there. Mm. 
no one's telling me where to tip it. So I'm just gonna tip it where the other two tipped it. Better undo my sheet actually before I tip. There we go. That's undoing while we tip at the same time. Excellent, let's go forward. There's the bang. Body down. I need to get the paperwork signed and uh, check the back of it quickly and then we'll uh, we'll be off. All right, mate. All right. Yeah. There you go, buddy. Right, See you later. <sighs> right. Now we're going to make our way to the second job. See you in a bit. Okay, you join me. About six hours later. <laughs> On the same day, as you saw earlier, uh, but it is six hours later, we've, uh, we've been doing this job now in uh, Amesbury all day. Um, had nine runs planned out of here, on top of the one run I did this morning, so 10 runs in total. I'm just collecting load number nine now, so I've got one more after this one. But um, yeah, it's been an all right day, starting to rain a little bit, a bit of spitting here and there, but nothing nothing too bad it's been it's been all right actually overall I, i've got to give a shout out to uh one of my colleagues that um not only watched the channel but also started to become like a good friend and that so shout out luke um for for like yeah you've asked for a shout out, so giving you a shout out. <laughs> uh, and then also his wife as well hannah um yeah appreciate all the support that you guys give me um very helpful luke actually gave me some directions to get to this site it was like go left and roundabout go straight over go right at the next one go straight over then go left then go right then go straight over then go left go then <laughs> it was quite complicated but it's actually relatively easy once once you uh, come off the 303 just follow signs for king's gate those big yellow signs you literally can't miss them they're all over the place <laughs> so yeah shout out luke shout out hannah um yeah thanks for being awesome they were, um, they reached out to me when I first started working here uh, privately on Facebook and uh, asked me how I was getting on and everything. And yeah, so good mates, good mates. Right, we're here now on site. Um, King's Gate, Blore Homes. But not Bovis, Blore. Even though it says Bovis there, we are actually going to Blore. Let's go around here. There's not an awful lot of room on this site, to be honest. There's I mean, there's enough, don't get me wrong, but... Kind of like one in, one out sort of situation. <laughs> I think the bloke in front of me, he's a load behind me. I think I've caught him up. Um, I'm getting my ninth one, and I think he's just only just getting his eighth. Oh, there's an Arctic in there, that's going to be fun. Is he out of the way? I'll pick the biggest one, mate. The biggest house I live in. Ask me what house I want to live in. <laughs> yeah, alright, mate. <laughs> that Arctic's parked over there out of the way. That... Oh, helicopter. There's a helicopter there. Huh? Yeah, that Arctic's parked up out of the way. He's going to have fun reversing out of here. He's going to have to reverse all the way back by the looks of it. And we are going round here in a big circle. You've got the digger straight in front of your left, behind the dumper on the left. But we are going round here in a big old circle to 
come up on the other side. Now, me and matey boy in front, we didn't get stuck, but it was definitely hard getting out. The ground was a bit soft, so I think he's just hardening up the ground now, the digger driver. Oh. So yeah, this is, this is what I've been doing all day today. Nine of these runs. And uh, maybe we'll come back here in a uh, few days and it'll all be different. You'll see houses that are built up that weren't built up before. Maybe I'll go back and revisit old videos and be like, yeah, this is what it was like on day one. And then this is what it was like on the second day I was there. And you'll see houses like that over there that slowly grow and build. So, Because I see it. I go to new houses in the States all the time. And uh, I'll go back to one I've been at ages ago and I'll be like, oh, there's houses there now. <laughs> or what? The, the road is now tarmac. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? So it'll be interesting, I think, for you guys to see that sort of stuff as well. Right. I'm just going to be waiting a while now for them to get loaded. So um, I will see you when we're getting loaded and we are leaving. Right, so we're just getting loaded now. I just had to turn my diff locks on because uh, I was spinning on this ground before I even got loaded. I'm getting loaded now. <laughs> I was already spinning. So the diff locks are on for when we uh, set off. 2.25, we'll be gone in five minutes, 2.30. Get him to sign it in a minute. Yeah, this guy's very quick. He's like proper loading as fast, so it's what you want. That is what you want. Um, I keep getting asked still why I lift the body up. Um, I'll explain again. So when you lift the body up, it sort of takes the weight off the scales and it balances it to a zero. Um, and then when you're getting loaded, you can then see how much you got in. So my net weight is at the moment 15 ton nearly. So I'm gonna need about two more buckets and then we should be done. Um, so that's why um, I, can hear, I can hear jet engines an aeroplane so that's why the body's up um so i can weigh myself basically <laughs> and in a second when you push this next bucket in the alarm will go off to say that i'm now fully loaded there we go so put the body down he's now going to do that i need to get it in first gear so i can pull away successfully because it's struggling even in first gear look it's in manual. I don't want it to change gear right now because I'll just get stuck. There we go. Why me? Right, boss. Yeah. You set now, is it? Uh, no, I'm back for one more, I am. I am? Yeah. I think you're all right, eh? I think so. I'm down for ten. This oh, is only ten. my ninth one. Down for nine, isn't it? No, I'm down. You got eight now? Yeah, yeah, no. I'm down for uh, ten runs in total. This is my ninth run today. I had one this morning. So that's what oh, yeah, if you look on that, it says eight out of nine. Out of nine. Yeah, I've got to do nine out of ten. <laughs> See you later, mate. Right. Let's just sort the paperwork out. Bow, 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 bow. Looks like he's waiting for me to uh, get out of the way, so I will just get out. Get out of this barrier here. Get out of this barrier area here so we can close it up. My sheet is not on yet, so I'm gonna have to get past this bloke here and then start doing it up. I'm gonna wait until I'm on the road or near the road. Okay. Don't want to go any further because now I'm now I'm on the uh, the brisk of getting out of sight. So we now do this sheet up. Uh, oh yeah, diff locks come off. Better do the diff locks. Oh, it's getting a bit windy. If it was any windier, we might have to uh, phone the yard up about the um, the sheet. Because apparently if it's too windy, you're not supposed to, to use it. In case it blows away. Where you going, mate? You going straight on? I thought so. Excellent. So yes, that's what I've been doing today. Got one more run planned for the day. So I should be back here for about three o'clock, I would have thought. Uh, get loaded, take that back, that'd be about half three. And then uh, see what they want me to do from there. But yeah, no, I think 
I don't know what the others are on, but I think I'm a load in front of the one in front of me anyway. The guy behind me would probably be on the same same load number as me. So, um, yeah. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I will see you uh, tomorrow, probably, when, when you next see me, it'll be the next day, and we'll be going somewhere else. Well, actually, I'll show you, I'll show you, I will show you, me, tipping this, if that makes sense. Yeah, yeah. Let me show you me tipping this first, and then, and then I will see you tomorrow. I'll see you at Frexton. Oh, a key, a do key. That does flash, yeah, it does flash. Right, why is he stopping there? Don't stop there. I think you're now blocking me. I'm hoping that there is a truck. What are you reversing for now, mate? What are you doing? Oh, the, the shovel driver is there. Okay, let me go back. Uh, uh, uh. I thought he was blocking the entrance then that I need. Excellente. Right, he's not blocking the entrance. That's good. Uh, uh, uh. Going around here. Ugh. Yeah, so we've been um, steadily building like a new bankment, an embankment for uh, Thruxton Race Circuit, um, which is pretty cool. You guys know how much I love my uh, my motorsports. But yeah, that's literally the Thruxton Race Track right there. That, that bit of tarmac is the actual track. I'm going to tip my load over here. Excellent. Um, there we go. Start undoing the sheet. Lift up. I'm in a bit of a situation now because the guy on the right hand side of me, he uh, he's a lady behind me, so he needs to go before me. There we go. So um, yeah, I'm just going to wait over here, and uh, he can overtake me again. But I need I need to check the back anyway, just make sure the back's clear. So that's what I'm going to go do now. Because the digger driver is nice and fast at loading, I'm cracking on. I ain't sitting around, I'm gonna crack on. <laughs> Where's he going? I was going to. Alright mate. That's one of the other drivers asking me if I'm doing another one. Yeah. I was going to. What time is it? It's only quarter to three, so. Like I said, by the time you get there, get back, it'll be half three, so. It's not like mega late or anything. Anyway, that's what I'm doing, so. Whether, they, whether anyone else does that or not, it's up to them. <laughs> right, uh, so yeah, that's going to be it for today. Um, next time you'll see me is going to be tomorrow. Uh, all the day after, depending on what we're doing, because you never know, we might be on this all day tomorrow as well, so. But we will see, we will see. See you in a bit. And we are back. Uh, it is the next day, and we are in Oxford. 
Um, welcome to Old Master. We are delivering uh, first thing this morning to uh, the John Radcliffe Hospital. Now, um, that's pretty much all the, all the information we have, other than the company itself, which is uh, GRS Roadstone, and then Project Lynch or something, Lynch Project Services. Um, that's all the information we got, along with uh, the John Radcliffe Hospital. So, we're gonna head to the hospital now, and uh, hopefully we see some sort of construction or roadworks or something with uh, either the name GRS Roadstone or or Project Lynch or whatever it was. I can't remember what it is. Pro Lynch Lynch Services. Oh yeah, I've seen them before. They just they just say Lynch on the digger. Lynch. So yeah, that's what we're going to do. We're about well, we're about a mile away from the hospital. So um, we see the sign there on the left says hospital. Um, so we're going to head there now, and uh, I'll see you when we are a little bit closer. Right, so we're just going up this hill now. It's been a little bit of a nightmare getting here, actually. Um, I don't know Oxford that well, so I am relying on uh, satellite navigation to get me here. And, um, yeah, some of the roads it was trying to send me down was just, yeah, not great. <laughs> right, this is going to be awkward. I've got to turn left here, but obviously not hit any cyclists. There's a lot of cyclists around. A lot of them. Yeah, so, right, John Radcliffe Hospital, so I've not been here, so I don't know where we're going. We've just got to keep an eye out for construction or something. It looks like, according to the map, it looks like you can do like a big circle around the whole hospital. So that's what I'm going to do first and just have a look around. Um, failing that, I'll um, contact them on a number if I've got one. I don't even know if I've got a number. <sighs> Nothing there. Got some barriers here, look. No, not gonna be in there. GRS Roadstone or Lynch is what we're looking for. Ah, oh, there's one of our trucks there. That looks promising. That was ideal. I don't really want to be blocking anything off. That's the problem. Uh, hazards, beacons. There is an ambulance station right here on the left, so. Oh, that was ideal. That was perfect. That couldn't have been any better. <laughs> um, but I am, I am blocking now on the road, so. Oh, it looks like it's on a slant. Yeah, it's not a very straight bit at all. I'll just keep an eye out. I'm not actually in the road. Vehicles can get past me. My main worry is that there's an ambulance only bit here. So if the ambulance puts on its sirens, I need to get out of the way quick. It looks like I can go around there. Yeah, it's a bit of a slant. While we're waiting, I was going to put in the destination for our next place. Yeah, there's ambulances to the left of me. Looks like they're kitting up to leave soon, so I am going to have to move in a second. I don't know, look, let's just see, look. So, I'm, I am just keeping an eye out. I don't know what he's doing. Crack on, mate. I am anxious to get out of the way. Right, I'm just going to go and have a look and assess the situation. 
Right, situation is, um, it's a bit too sandy, so we're waiting for something to come, like a 360, try and level off a little bit. So, uh, yeah, see you in a bit. Okay, situation is, we've been here now for nearly 45 minutes. Uh, the guy in front of me has just been tipped now. We had to try and wait for it to be levelled off a little bit. It's still not really levelled off. Uh, the guy who's just tipped, he, uh, he could only go so high and then they had to get a digger to try and drag it out. We couldn't lift the body all the way up. And uh, it's my turn next. It's not going to be fun. It's going to be quite scary. But uh, we'll see what we can do. Trouble is, it's quite a busy area. There's a lot of pedestrians about and stuff. Just trying to keep an eye out and ear out for stuff. Right. All right, shall I not bother as well? Okay, let's make our way back. Feel the slant. I am gonna put put my seatbelt on just in case I do tip. Might be okay now. We're on the last run. Right, that's as high as we can go. We haven't tipped yet, so that's a good sign. Just gonna slowly move forward, make sure there's no pedestrians. Yeah. All right, so if you sign that one for me. Thank you very much. Oh, that's yours. <laughs> There you go, mate. Thank you. All right, mate. No worries. 
Yeah, that wasn't so bad. Uh, oh, blue lights there, look. The, um, the other guys definitely had it worse than I did. Definitely. Okay, let's make a move. Cheers, mate. Have a good day. Hazards off. Beacons off. Right. Yeah, it was a bit of a palaver, that was. It was just so un unstable for the first one and for the second one as well. And for me, a little bit. And then uh, they took a little bit out of my bucket while it was halfway up just to take the weight off. And then I managed to get it all up then from there. So happy days right good news is we're only five minutes away from our next job uh we've now got to go and collect a load of mud from i think they called it the swan school and uh take that one uh backwards and forwards to uh shipton um so yeah i'll um i'm gonna make my way there now and i'll see you later on in the day um and i'll show you the the new site that we're going to next next yeah that's the one <laughs> right see you in a bit Right, welcome back. We are, well, what time is it now? It's about 20, well, quarter past 12, give or take. Um, we are yet to have lunch. We're gonna go pick up this load now. I've got 35 minutes of driving time left. So I'm gonna pick up this load now, then take it back to get it tipped off, and then have break. That's the plan anyway. We'll have to wait and see uh, if I've actually got enough time to get it back or not. If I don't, then I'll, um, our stop on the way there no big deal so yeah that's um what we've got to do now so i've been here a few times now uh this is going to be i think the th third or fourth i think yeah pretty sure it's the fourth it's gonna be the fourth one from this site today we were down to do eight but because of the because of the hold up earlier at the um hospital um I have to drop a load. We'll have to wait and see. I'll do as many as I can. I always will. But um, the last load we have to take back to uh, Shellingford Quarry, whereas we're actually taking this to Shipton Quarry at the moment. But yeah, the last one we have to take to Shellingford because that's on the way home, uh, just to kind of like get us back, if that makes sense. So yeah, but yeah, funny, funny story. When I come here the first time, um, pulled up to the site, and the bloke on the gate, he held up this device and he, without asking he just aimed it at me and I could see these lights and he go, he just goes taking your temperature I was like okay like didn't even ask <laughs> but yeah um, I'm going to assume it's for the whole Covid stuff so <sighs> anyway he's literally just around the corner and we're going to turn right when we were here earlier we were going further into sight which is a little bit of a shame because you could see a bit more stuff whereas now we're kind of like at the start of the site oh also because it is 20 past 12 now nearly there's no guarantee i'm actually going to get loaded he might actually be on lunch in which case we'll be having our lunch now <laughs> we'll have to wait and see but yeah we're turning right into here All clear, he's waving me in. Cheers, mate. Right, so we've got to try and find this digger now. Hopefully, he's in the same place where he was when I last left, which will be just over here on the left hand side. He is there, good. Is he in it though? That's the question. I don't think, no, there's no one in the digger. I think he's on lunch. Yep, thank you very much, mate. He's telling me how to go. Which is the same as last time. Ugh. But yeah, we were going all the way around here and sort of up there and yeah, could see quite a bit more. He was just telling me to turn left, but there's a gate there, I would have hit it. Bam, 
bam, bam. Is he on lunch? Is he on lunch, is he? Yeah. Alright, mate, no worries. Yeah, he's on lunch, so. Uh, could be a situation, because now, if we can get half an hour in here, great. I've got my lunchbox, I can have a lunch here, not a problem. Um, but if he comes back in like 20 minutes, loads me in five minutes, then I've got to go off, and then I've got to have a uh, half an hour break still. <laughs> Oh yeah, I only need half an hour because I've had a 15 this morning, so when we were at the hospital, I had a 15 minute break, we just sat there doing nothing, might as well have a break, so yeah, we'll see if we can get half an hour in now, I'm going to um, chill out on my phone, oh, my drone's been delivered, my drone's been delivered, it's back from the um, Netherlands, was it Netherlands? Yeah, it was, so um, that's at home waiting for me, and also um, I bought like two spare batteries, battery charger for the car, um, and also like to charge three batteries up. Uh, simultaneously um, actually I don't think it's simultaneously it's um, one after the other but anyway bought it all off a DJI website itself about two weeks ago and it's been delayed um, and now it's coming so that's coming tomorrow but yeah I've got my drone at home right now so when I get home later assuming the weather's all right um, I might take it for a fly let's have a quick look at the app now let's see what the app says app says good to fly at the moment <laughs> right, see you in a bit. Right, we are nearly loaded. That might be it. No, one more bucket and we'll be done. Let's put the old seatbelt on. Last bucket going in. There we go. You will arrive at your destination at 12.53 p.m. He's just leveling, leveling me out now. Excellent. We're all clear. Uh, so, yeah. Um, he saw me, the dig well, he must have been called or something, because he, he come running around the corner, the digger driver, to come and load me. So, um, yeah, I reckon he was on his break, bless him. <laughs> He's come out to load me. Um, anyway, I won't be back here for a while. Um, got to go tip this off I'll be there for one o'clock which is in 20 minutes time but 30 minutes drive time so yeah I should be able to get this tipped off have a break in the quarry I've also got to get reloaded in the quarry um, but you'll see that on the next video there we go buddy Ooh, thank you very much yeah you'll, you'll, um, you'll see that on the next video we've got to do a delivery round here um, and although I will be doing that delivery today um, I'm going to save that for the next video because um, you've seen three different places on this video. That's what I ideally like to do, three different places per video. It should be a, a nice amount then, do you know what I mean? So yeah, anyway, let's go get this tipped off. See you in a bit. Right, we are now in the quarry. Um, yeah, we've got to go round here and up there and all sorts to get to the place where we're going to tip. And then um, tip it up and get it on eat. <laughs> but um, yeah, we're just gonna head around here. I'm not gonna go too fast because it is quite bumpy. But when we get around this corner in a minute, we've got to put a few revs in. It just starts going up a hill, and I don't want to drop a gear. So I'm gonna put it in manual as well. We're in seventh gear at the moment. Um, yeah, interesting fact 12 gears in this truck. A lot of trucks have 12 gears. Like uh, the ones actually pull any serious weight do anyway. <laughs> Just in case any of you didn't know uh, how many gears a truck has. Right, we're going to start putting the foot down. Just so we can keep some momentum going up this hill. And then as soon as we reach the brow, we're back off. There we go. Back into automatic eco. We're just literally just going to tip it over here on the right hand side somewhere, wherever he says. I might get a bit closer, he should point out roughly where he wants it. If he doesn't, then I'll uh, just put it, put it somewhere near in front of him. No, he never said where he wanted it, so I'm just going to pop it somewhere in front of him.
Thank you very much. So yeah, we're going to tip this and then um, I've got to quickly go and get reloaded before I have my break. And um, yeah, that run that I'm going to do next after my break, you'll see in the next video. I've got to go around the corners from where we're going. So you'll see that, like I say, in the next one. <laughs> right, let's get this one off anyway. There we go. And the bang. No bang, okay. How about now? No bang, okay. Well, that sometimes means is that um, it's dirty on the back and it needs a scrape. So we're just gonna park up. I wanna be facing the other way because that's the way I wanna go. So I'm just gonna come around here. Get out of the way. There we go. And I'm gonna jump out and have a look. See whether it's clean, whether it's dirty. I'll bring you with me. Get my scraper. Gotta to, got to have a scraper. Okay, so. Yeah, see there's a little bit of mud on there. Body itself is clean. That's nice. Good to know. But um, yeah, there wasn't a bang because this bit here was hitting first. So that's why there wasn't a bang. So what we just do is we get all this off. Give it a bit of a scrape. Check all that's clear, it is. And uh, just scrape the sides as well. There we go. Oh man, that sun is bright off of there. <laughs> well, yeah, that's the uh, that's the the bed and nice and clean. So now we can uh, jump back in the truck. Jump back in the truck and uh, put the body down, and then I'm going to go get reloaded for uh, for my next run and have a break. But for this video, that's going to be it. Thank you very much for watching. Do appreciate it. And uh, not very often you get to see my truck like that, so yeah. <laughs> Thank you very much, and I'll see you next Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. You see the drippy, I'm fitted up. Hop in my car in a giddy up. Secure the bag, yeah, I get the bus. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. You see the drippy, I'm fitted up. Hop in my car in a giddy up. Secure the bag, yeah, I get the bus. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. I've been on the flex since flex on.